everyone, Manga Man here. And me, Kitty. And uh, welcome to another Manga Man and Kitty go to the movies. Uh, today we're talking about a film that we saw a couple of weeks back. Yeah. That was the uh, live action Beauty and the Beast film. First initial thoughts on it. I liked it when I first saw it, but after having thought about it after a while, I don't really like it. Um, I really liked it. Like, there were things I didn't like about it, but overall, it was a good film. Um, initially, there were, like, quite a few things that I just really thought I wasn't going to like, but, they, I mean, they were okay, but now, thinking about it, like, afterwards, it was just, it was okay. It was good for a live adaptation of the film, I feel, you know? I felt like good. I thought it was okay. Like it was, it could have been worse. First, let's talk about the tale as old as time. Uh, true to life, it may not be. This, uh, well, I'm just gonna go right into it. Uh, Emma Watson sucks. Damn. Yeah, I said it. She can't sing. She Ooh. can't really act outside of Hermione <laughs> Granger. Ooh. Ooh, I've seen her in other movies though. And how was she? She was good. She was pretty good for the character she was. She's not like an Anne Hathaway. Or well, it's, no one can really surpass Anne I Hathaway. I love her. I mean, I come love on. Her. Let's all be honest here. I love her. But anyway, she was okay in the other roles. Not as Hermione, but Belle. We're talking about Belle. 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 Belle, Belle which like, literally means beauty in French. That's why it's Beauty and the Beast. Or yeah. Belle la Beast. Now, I don't know. I mean, she was... Belle is a tough character for any person to portray. Okay. And yeah. I will say, my favorite 2D animated Disney film is, the, is a Beauty and the Beast, so I am a little <laughs> biased yeah. by it. But the 2D anime one just got to the point better. This film took a lot of different side roads. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them were interesting to kind of learn about, but then really didn't uh, have much impact in the story. Like, for example, we learned a bit more about the Beast's backstory, about mm -hmm. his parents and whatnot. Ooh, that was sad. It was sad, but what point did it really serve to the overall plot? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, thinking about it, or like, uh, The Fate of Belle's Mother, like, all we really needed was that first beginning part where the dad was just kind of talking about it, like, the visual representations that we saw, like, something happened to her mother, the painting, the father not really wanting to talk about it. Yeah. I don't think we really needed to see, you know, her dying to the plague and whatnot. Yeah, when you do bring that up, you're right. Like, I mean, we didn't really need to see that. It didn't add anything to it. It added, like, something new, I guess, visually to look at, but it didn't really enhance the story in any way. Plus, yeah. it didn't it make, like, a little bit of a loophole, like you said? Yeah, with, they introduced this magic book, which wasn't in either the original story nor in the animated version, where they're able to go to any place in the world they could think of. Well, that's just a deus ex machina right there that they, bear, that they don't even use. They just kind of bring it up for that one point to talk about her mom, to see the scene that we didn't really need to see, and then never brought up again. Yeah, I mean, like, what... Never even mentioned. Yeah, like, are there certain rules to, like, using this book can travel only, thing? Yeah, can like... only the beast use it? Is yeah. that why she didn't use it when she was trying to desperately get to her father as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a little weird, but... Look, there she goes, so yes, she's so peculiar. Let's talk about the movie in, like... Increments, okay. Not acts, but kind of like, you know... All right, the beginning of the movie, uh, whereas in the animated one, they cleverly uh, showed, like, the uh, tragedy of the prince... Uh, shooing away the old woman in stained glass window form. Uh, this one decided to just kind of outright show it. Yeah. Which, uh, 
was fine to just outright show it, but why was, I mean, the narrator was kind of talking over it. Like, wouldn't it have been better if they just kind of had, you know, them you know, playing out the scene like they were mm -hmm. and having the actors kind of speaking? Yeah, um, I felt like it was a little interesting because it felt a little bit more like a storybook. Yeah, yeah, That's that that was the like idea. It. That was the idea for the narration, but the way they had it there was mm -hmm. uh, so they, very different. Yeah, because they didn't have many other parts like that throughout the movie. Right, just, they didn't. <laughs> it was just like the beginning. Maybe a little at the end. I, I don't know. No, just at the beginning. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think they carried through with that actually. That's another thing they don't carry through with. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I I liked seeing all the different characters like dancing around in the before beginning they became and... uh, inanimate objects. Yes. Or animate objects, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. I I thought that was pretty done really well. I liked it. Um, they definitely really soaked up the uh, Middle Ages of France style. To it, like everyone was wearing big powdery wigs and the <laughs> ridiculously rosy cheeks and the gaudy dresses and gowns and suits and all that and the high heel shoes. <laughs> yeah. All pretty lady. Basically. <laughs> I was okay. This is something. I was actually thinking, like, what, what would, what would Dan look like with those shoes on? <laughs> like. Oh, I would look fabulous, darling. Because <laughs> all the guys were wearing them. They have a little kitten heel on it. They're cute. Little kitten heel on it. Mmm, just drop my stuff. Mm, 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 mm. And turn. <laughs> <laughs> Into the couch. But Into yeah. the couch. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, so, okay. After that. After that, then we get the, uh, you know, the classic song mm -hmm. uh, of Belle, which uh, then we get to hear uh, auto-tuned Emma Watson. Ooh, auto-tune. Auto-tune. <clears throat> yeah, um, I thought this scene wasn't a little interesting, um, because when I think of Belle, I don't think of Emma Watson. And, I mean, that's just my opinion. I love her. I love Emma Watson, but... But Belle. do you love her because she was in Harry Potter? Yes, absolutely. That is okay. <laughs> so, she's a little biased as well. <laughs> but it's Hermione Granger. Yeah, that's that's fine when she's Hermione Granger. Yes, but like I said, as Belle, she, she is not the Belle, I can imagine. Like, no. No. Mm -mm. But... No. I mean, it, granted, like... She was definitely a great above beauty compared to the other girls that were in the village. Ooh. Just saying. Okay. Yeah, they were ugly. I was, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that was a harsh word, but... Well, it's true, and they did that on purpose. Another thing, like, what the animated uh, movie did is that Belle in the movie was the only character to wear blue, which made, mm -hmm. visually made her stand out amongst everybody else. But in this film, they just kind of forego that and everyone could wear blue. I really don't remember seeing any of other female characters wearing blue, though. No, well, not just female, but, like, some of the guys had oh, some blue on. Yeah. Where in the anime one, only Belle wore blue. Everyone else wore other colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like for that scene, like, Emma's... Watson's singing was it was it was okay like it wasn't oh isn't this amazing I didn't know she could sing I had no idea that she could sing and it's just it's just okay you know right the director had no idea either dang it wasn't it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad I've heard worse I will give you that yeah I heard American Tale for the first time and it's like oh child singing you I do. like that, though. I know, I know, but it's very off. Well, Fifle's singer, anyway. This was very off-key. Yeah. Well, okay, um... I, I... 
just saw the Beauty and the Beast for the first time like last year. I know. I've seen it on like almost every other like Disney princessy type of movie. Besides but the one, the but the one film. I know, I know. How could you? What has your mom been teaching you? I don't think I had it on VHS. I had every single other like Disney movie, but not Beauty and the Beast for some mm. reason. But anyway, thankfully, I changed all that for. Her. Yeah, and it, it was really good. I really loved it. And I felt like I really liked that song because, like, I feel like I connected. Like, the song is, like, speaking out to me. Speaking to you. So, like, to see it, like, live with Emma Watson because I already kind of liked her, you know, it was just like, oh, this is this is really cool. I, I liked it, but, I mean, the singing was not all that great. She's not the belle I thought. You know, all these guys are singing about, like, she's, like, the most beautiful thing ever, and it's just... Ugh. But I'm afraid <laughs> she's rather odd. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. I can't imagine all the men in this village wanting her. You know, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, the one actor I did like was uh, Belle's father. Yes. Uh, he did a pretty darn good job with the material that uh, he was given. Mm -hmm. uh, like, the begin the first time we see him, like, his first scenes uh, were outstanding. Like, the... Yeah. Uh, the colors in the room, the tinker toys, like, uh, instead of a, like, a machine inventor, he was, well, he was a machine inventor, but he, <laughs> he dealt more in, like, kind of, like, you know, clockworks, toys, and mm -hmm. stuff like that instead, yeah. which was fine. It was, a, it was a fine update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, like, the cool dad. <laughs> He's the cool dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. And then, um, what, what was the next scene after that, like? Uh, uh well, that was Gaston failing to woo Belle, like, honestly. Ooh, Gaston. Ooh, Gaston. Let's talk about Gaston for a minute. Mm. I really liked Gaston. <laughs> no one fights like Gaston, takes off his shirt like Gaston. <laughs> he was a very good actor. He, he definitely was a different, like, uh, the Gaston in the anime one had a bit more of a baritone where he was a bit more of the, ooh, I'm so sexy. Yeah, yeah. Type of guy. He did. He was a lot more of a, a jerk right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, like, his jerk levels, like, uh, Gaston in, in the anime movie was subtle. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the Gaston, this one was like, I'm gonna tie you to this tree and hope the wolves eat you alive. Yeah. Bye! Gaston out. I really did not like. I don't know. It, it's like I liked him, but I didn't like him. Uh, Gaston as a character it should be somebody that, like, you know, we should see at first as, like, you know, oh, this guy is cool. He's a little dumb, but cool. <laughs> uh, but then as the film progresses, it should then become more apparent, like, oh my god, this guy's pure evil. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one just got to that point a little quicker. Yeah, it definitely did. Oh, should we talk about the whole LeFou controversy? Yeah. Alright. We should. So apparently people were boycotting this film in Alabama. Surprise. Alabama. Alabama. Sorry to all my Alabama fans. Oh, we love you. We love you. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Uh, they banned this film because of the uh, gay undertones, and like, uh, really? Yeah. I mean, they were there, but then again, not. Like, I've seen, <sighs> I've seen, honey, I've seen a lot of gayer characters. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, LaFou's gay levels were like around a four. Out of a ten, four? four out of ten. I would say maybe like a seven. seven. Out of he was <laughs> five, six. And uh, yes, we you, we knew he was gay for Gaston at first, and he did get a cute little boy at the end. He did have a lot of lines that were just like okay, like all right, we, we get, get it. it. You want the D? We get it. Like, and it's <sighs> I like a character that's a little over the top. Yeah, yeah it, it's fun. It's it's fun to have characters that are yeah, over the top. That's like, why we like characters like Gaston, yeah, like, La Fool. We did, yeah. So 
I don't know. I, I liked it. I don't know. I, was like, I don't know what everyone was bitching about. I mean, come yeah, on, people. It's... Get, grow up. Grow up. This is 2017. Can can we get, just get beyond this? Yeah, let's, let's get beyond this. Let's get beyond this topic, anyways. <laughs> Uh, so then, uh, Belle's father goes into the woods, and of course she takes the wrong path, and then, boom, wolves. Whoa. What was interesting about this film is that, for some reason, the area around the Beast Castle was constantly in winter. Yeah, I, I thought that was, was it not like that in the... No, it wasn't like that in the animated film. In the animated film, like, the seasons changed. We saw, like, uh, yeah, different... Did. There was a winter scene, of course. Uh, that was the one for There's Something That I... I know, I love that song. I had like one he of... He was mean, he was close. And I'm I had fine. one of those Disney sing-along DVDs and that song was on there. That's why I love so it So you so heard much. that song, but you never saw the film that connected... Wow. We're going to watch it again. <laughs> oh, it's isn't my this favorite song amazing? of the whole movie. And I really liked it in the... I will say this, like, the wolves, like, uh, one of the most, like, as a kid when I watched Beauty and the Beast, one of the mo moments that really made me love the Beast was when he went to rescue Belle against the wolves. And, like, the camera angles, like, the wolves, like, uh, surrounding her, and then, like, she taking up a stick and trying to bat him away, but the wolves yeah. kind of bite it off, and they're about to leap at her, and then you see the big clawed hand coming, and then the... <sighs> Big old roar is like, oh! Yeah. It so was... cool! Animated one, like, uh, yes, he did the roar, but it was, I don't know, out of sequence. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, let's face it, they're both C. The wolves and the beasts are both CG. They could have done some better camera work with that, I felt. Just a little bit. <laughs> they're CG. You're able to smudge the camera angles a bit. Yeah. To get a little bit more of those dynamic poses. They could have made it a little more terrifying. There weren't many moments of this movie that were a little scary or anything, you know? Yeah, I, like, you remember, like, the castle in the anime one, like, when Belle was going through the West Wing and it all was those... So creepy. Yeah, all those different gargoyle statues, the broken glass, the yeah. music that played out through there, and when she enters the room and sees the torn picture. Yeah, it, it was so, like, melodramatic. The picture was, the picture was barely it? torn in the live action like, version. It was so, like, light. It was like, it was like a kitty scratch. Like, nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> I mean, get you. I was yeah. expecting more, this room to be more, like, in shambles. Yeah. It was just like, oh, ain't nobody been here for a while. Even my mother. <laughs> the maid's gone. She left ages ago. That's what it seemed like. And I remember, like, when we watched the movie, it, some of those parts were a little creepy, you know? And yeah, some of the, like, the idea, like, one of the uh, creepier ideas that they came up with was that for every petal that drops in the rose, mm -hmm. uh, the residents become more animated uh, inanimate, and that they, uh, you know, uh, feather dusters gain more feathers, or uh, yeah. Lumiere loses joint muscular. But I felt that there was a little inconsistent because it's like, oh, you can barely move your legs, so you seem to be dancing all right and be our guest there. I know. That, ooh, that scene right there, I liked it. It was all well, right. I have a really dumb complaint. Yeah. I feel like Mrs. Potts. And like Chip, I feel like they could have looked so much better. I don't know why. I just they looked really dorky. But <laughs> yeah, the faces, the faces. Yeah, the fa like, the faces were made like they were like painted on China. Yeah. That way, but I mean, you could think about it, if they tried to do it like the Mrs. Potts and Chip in the anime with like the eyeballs and the mouth underneath the stuff. It would have been so cool. It would have been so cool, but it would look kind of weird. Aww. No, thinking about it. Thank you. <laughs> like, the movie adds a lot of things. Some of it doesn't work. Some of it kind of works. Mm -hmm. Thinking about, like, uh, okay, the castle crumbles more and the 
residents become more inanimate, like whenever a petal falls. Interesting idea, and it leads to a very, uh, very dark moment at the end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes, a dark moment. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, but, uh, what did you feel about the relationship between the Beast and Belle? I thought it maybe could have been a little bit more. <laughs> A little, you know, some, a little something. A little bit more something there, because I felt like when yeah. they were singing the song, it was just like... And then like... But what's their, what's their mom? Well, that's what I felt like. Yeah, it's like... It's how did like, this happen? Yeah, like, I mean, they didn't have many... They didn't have much time together, but when they were doing the whole books thing, and they were like... Now, that's about, another... That was that, cute. That was cute, but that's I really like that. That's another thing. In the animated film, like, uh, The Beast, you know... After Belle saves him. Did he read as much? Like. Um. I don't recall. I, it's like, I think. I think he was. No, he didn't. In the anime film, he didn't know how to read, but Belle taught him. That's so sad. Yeah. Because in the movie, he's like, oh, I've read all those books, I've read that, and I've read that. Like, didn't he? Yeah, he read like all those books and stuff. In the live action one, but in yeah. the in the animated one, he didn't know how to read. But then Belle, uh, they spent time and she taught him how to read. So I guess that's like one of the things that I did like about this movie because it's like she kind of found a guy like her because it seemed like a lot of the guys in town were just like idiots. Yeah, <laughs> they were idiots, and then. This guy like read books, and she he's like teaching her about some books she hasn't heard of, and like I think it was like Hamlet. Yeah. He was talking about. It. She's like, I've never read that one. And, oh my gosh, Mary gets him. Like it was it was so cute. I really liked that. I like kind of the sophistication of that. But what I like about the book scene in the animated one <laughs> is that uh, the Beast uh, wanted to give this library as a gift to her to kind of do something special for her. Whereas in the live action one, it's just kind of a second thought, like, you know, oh, hey, you want to see my library? Oh my god, this library is amazing. Oh, um, well, yeah, you could have it if you want. Yeah, it. Um, yeah, I mean, he wanted to give this girl something, and it it's was like, the cutest, close your eyes. It was the cutest thing ever in the animated film. Like, if, if a guy literally did that to me. Did that to you, <laughs> and he wanted to give you a huge library. A huge library of just, oh, like, books. Tell me and, books everywhere. Manga and Manga. Like, like video games, like I'd be in heaven. I would love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, like I thought that was really cute, and it was something that was kind of missed. It was just kind of like, oh, let's just share this library together. I felt like they shared it a little bit more. They like, share like, things like they did, like some of the scenes, like you know. Beast doesn't know how to eat out of a bowl. You know? That was so cute. That was the cutest scene ever. Mm. And then she's just like, <sighs> no, she didn't do and that. She, did, she did a little very lady like. And then he like did as well. Yeah, it, was it, it was cute. It was adorable. <laughs> Can we talk about okay, <laughs> the dresser? Oh yeah. When Belle first like was in the room with the dresser, that dresser that was, was weird. Creepy. <laughs> That was one of the creepy moments that the dresser just looked like it's supposed to be, I guess. I was, oh my god, the awkward part is when she just, like, fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was one of her characteristics in this film, that she just Would falls fall asleep? asleep. Like, what's the, how, why? why she didn't fall asleep when she became human. I could understand, like, maybe the clock falling asleep, but when it's the... Yeah, and then he'd wake himself up by the time. Yeah, yeah. but when it's, like, the dresser, it's, like, See, that's it doesn't clever. make sense. Is it because she was, like, older than a lot of the other characters in the film? No, not that was really. weird. And then, like, the whole dressing scene, like, it was, it was, like, too much. And it went on for, like, just a couple more seconds than it had to. Plus, it was oh. very fake looking. It was so fake. Like, just don't do that. Like, <laughs> don't don't need it. Like, uh, I, the dresser in the animated one was just so much more fun. Yeah, like. <gasps> Let me see what I got in my cupboards. Oh, <laughs> so oh, embarrassing. It was so fun. They just made her like a really weird character. It yeah, very like, weird and creepy. Awkward. She like just awkward falls and... asleep, and it's like. <laughs> Go back to your slumber, they demon dresser. They could have 
done so much more with that character, and I feel so bad because... She can actually sing! She the one sing. character that is a nominated singer, won awards for her beautiful operatic voice, and she only sings a little bit at the beginning and a little bit at the end. Yeah, and it's... It was a little sad. They could have done a little more, but I feel like this movie, <laughs> I guess... Overall, singing was not really the strong point of this film, which yeah. really sucks because it's it's like it's supposed to be a musical. It's supposed to be like it's like know? if they did Les Misérables with people that couldn't sing. Oh wait, mm. but yeah, it's I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't care for that. So and um, what else? The well, what about the. Um, Okay, they had some new songs in here. Oh, I love the one where Beast is singing. I think that one was a take on the Broadway version where Beast had his own song. Yeah. And that's the one thing I don't like about the animated one is that the Beast only really sings during uh, There's Something There and yeah. didn't really have any song to himself. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas this film did give the Beast something to sing about in this one. I thought it was beautiful. I thought he had a really he had a, yeah, voice. Yeah, he had a very good voice. It, it was, okay, that scene happened, like, right after I started crying. <laughs> it was like, I cried twice during this movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> it was just so, it was just good. I liked the emotional parts of it. That's good. And, um, it, I don't know, like, what was I going with this? But anyway, I, the beast singing. I, I was, like, going to cry. And, it started out, and I thought it was gonna be a sad song, like "Oh my bells leaving me," but no, it was like it was like cute. Like, like I'll never forget you. You'll never leave me. <laughs> You'll haunt my every waking dream. And I was just like, "Oh my god, this guy he loves her so much." It was really cute. Mm. <laughs> I felt though too, like the big climactic, <laughs> the big climactic battle. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the, uh, in the mansion with all the, uh, you know, all the people and objects fighting against each other. Yeah. There are a lot of gay, uh, speaking of gay, uh, earlier, there was a scene where the dresser dressed up these three dudes, uh, two of them ran away screaming, but, uh, the one guy is like, Whoa. I like this. <laughs> it's so comfy. <laughs> This girdle is just made for me. <laughs> yeah, it was I, the whole like fighting scene or whatever. It was it was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, fun. I, I did like it. I, I kind of like the animated one. You'll be hearing me say this again a lot. <laughs> a lot of this. Again. I like the animated one a little bit. The animated one just felt like more energetic. You know, like yeah. there was a lot more. Uh, very variety of different things the inanimate objects would do to the people. Mm -hmm. And like, I guess, like, the inanimate objects, like, had a truce with LeFou, and then LeFou started helping the inanimate objects. It's like, okay. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like, LeFou and the animated one was, well, the fool. Yeah. You know? How did you feel about LeFou being a sympathetic character? Well, I kind of liked it, you know. It was, it was, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessary, but okay. Power to the gate, yeah. He wanted to... Uh, he wanted that D. He, oh, he wanted that. Mm. He was, oh my god. Like he was, like, easy. thirstier than I could ever be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't sell yourself short, honey. Okay. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. No shame about it. It's like, oh. No shame. Like, I love you. <laughs> like, I literally think at one point he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was It was called Finley, but, well, but, yeah, um. Although one thing that was kind of weird uh, was, uh, you know, the, the, the tying up Belle's father to the tree. And then, like, the random, the random woman came to rescue him. Who was she? I didn't even, like, I, don't, I thought that was kind of weird. I guess she was, like, the, you know, the town, um, 
witch. Sure, let's call her that. <laughs> the town witch, which the... I thought she, for whatever reason, I was thinking she was like in a different town or something because she just came out of nowhere. Yeah, she did. Like... Yeah, what are you doing out here? Yeah, like who comes out here? Apparently she does. Yeah. And uh, apparently she, at the end, was the great fairy. So. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the other thing. Okay. Cool. I guess we gotta put her in her another Again, time. I suppose that you know. not really necessary, but alright. Yeah. Cause in the okay, in the animated film, how does how does he get back? How does your father get back? Does he just Well, in the animated film the father gets back uh through the enchanted carriage, which again they didn't show that in this one, so God knows how she still has a horse, and yet he didn't have a horse when he okay. left. Okay, at one point, when he left, when she, like, took his place, yeah. I assumed he was going to take the horse. But then we see the horse later, and it's like... And I was like, hold on, what? How do you this do little you? horse just sat around here the whole time? Like, yeah, in the animated one, they at least show you how he got back yeah. with the enchanted carriage. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was weird. I was just like, why are you still here, horse? Why are you still here, horse? Do you, like, drop him off and then come back? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that little horse was a little scared to get to. But, yeah. Um, At least it was an actual horse. <laughs> it was, yeah. Can we talk about... Let's see. Okay, when... Is his name Marcel? Maurice. <laughs> Bell's father? Yeah. Maurice. Marcel. Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> when he, um... Like, actually gets back to, like, the town. The town, and he tells people, and the beast! That was, that was crazy, because he was, like, in the tavern already, and then I think, like, Gaston just happened to, like, walk in there. No, Gaston, like, he uh, barged into the tavern after they did the whole Gaston song. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's talking about the beast. No one believed him, but then, like, out of nowhere, Gaston decided, like, yeah, sure, I believe you. Let's go. I, f wait, Really? Yeah. I felt like he was in the tavern first, and then... No, that's oh, after. Oh, that's after. That, mm. Yeah, and the animated one is just simple, because, okay, yeah, we'll find that they just throw him out in a crazy old Maurice, and then Gaston yeah. gets a little sinister plan to send Maurice to the, uh, I the same not, asylum. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Uh, but in this film, they first, like, okay... All right, let's go to the woods. They go to the woods. They argue. Gaston reminisces about the war. And then uh, ties him to a tree when he doesn't get his way. And then they go back to and they find uh, Maurice in the tavern. And then they do the whole, oh, you must be crazy, right, LeFou? He's crazy. You want this, don't you? You should s agree with me. <laughs> and LeFou is like, uh, okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, uh, I, I was really upset with him at that point <laughs> when yeah. he did that. But it's like, uh, he has the to. The food, no D is worth that. Yeah. No D is worth a man's life. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was it was intense. Um, what about, let's say, the final type of fight with the Beast and Gaston? Oh, the Beast and Gaston? Uh, again... I like the animated version a bit better because uh, the fight in there was, you know, it's got the rain, the thunder, and like at first when Gaston enters in, like he has the arrow, shoot up rain, the beast just kind of looks at him and then he just kind of turns away because he's just so sad. He's like, his bell's gone. And that's when Gaston pulls the trigger and like, oh, oh. Ooh, that, oh my gosh, that got me. Yeah. In this version, Gaston didn't have a crossbow. He had a pistol. <laughs> and he used that a lot. <laughs> like, did. oh, dad! It's just like Tupac! No! <laughs> it was really... It was really, really sad. Like, when he first shot him in the back, I was not expecting that. And then he, like, saves him from dying. And then he's like, leave. I don't remember if this... <laughs> yeah, in the animated anything. one, the animated one, uh, they did it they did it here, but it's just like the beast like uh, sees Bell, and like it's like okay, enough of this crap. <laughs> Grabs the club, 
hoist Gaston up by the throat and hangs him over the ears, letting him go, and Gaston says, oh, let me down, let me down, please, please. Uh -huh. And the beast just kind of looks at him with a snarl and then slowly lowers him down. And he just simply says, get out. And throws him down and goes up to see Belle. Yeah, and then, like, I don't know, in the live action one, it was... A little more talking. It was a little more talking, um, and, and I hated it. I hated it. I just wish he would have just left and left them alone, but no, he had to get himself killed. <laughs> well, it, the beast was showing that he was more of a man than Gaston by showing mercy. That's true, yes. Well, I mean, like, I, I wish Gaston would have just... Just left it alone, but yeah, no. Yeah, but it's Gaston. And then, and then, like, he died, and then he shot the beast again. I was like, no! but it's all good because the beast is fine. <laughs> yeah, I do say like the transformation sequence in the animated one is one of my favorite sequences I ever seen in an animated film. Uh -huh. Right, excuse me, right up there with uh, Fantasia, uh -huh. everything Fantasia, basically. <laughs> Uh, it's just like the music and the effects and the sparkling and like the dun 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 yeah, Just the was, majesty. It was really pretty. I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty. I like the touches with the roses. I don't know why the fair, why the great enchantress had to be there. I thought it was fine that she was there. It's like she caused all this. So. She no, well, she she didn't start this. He started that. <laughs> and then it was it was interesting for her to be there. I think mm -hmm. I was like, okay, now she can actually see that she could see like how you know he was able to change and all that, so she could sleep peacefully then. <laughs> Basically, it's like okay. The kids have finally decided to play nice. Yeah. But, I don't know. When I saw him finally at the end, it was, it was okay. It was like bells. You're all right. It's, it <laughs> was cleverly shown in, like, uh, love behind the scenes with the animated one. And even in the original black and white French version, that no matter what, the you could... You could have the beast transform into Aladdin. It doesn't matter. People grew to love the beast. Yeah, I like so the beast. You could have the most likable Disney character. Again, Aladdin, Hercules. You could have any of those guys be turned into the beast. You don't care. You want the big hairy beast. Yeah. It's the same thing with the old French version. It's like a famous actress saw this, and when the transformation ha happened, she was like, Bring back my beautiful beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was, it was... It's something that has to happen, but it's hard to see it happen, you know? Yeah. But it, I guess it'll just make things easier <laughs> for them as a couple. <laughs> well, depends on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> anyways... <laughs> Uh, so, that's uh, our thoughts on the live-action Beauty and the Beast. Wait, I have oh. one more thing to say. One more thing to say. I love the fact that there were some sisters in this film. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of sisters and misters. Yes. A lot of I sisters and misters. Like, I was just like, oh, my God, my people of color are in this film. It was amazing. Like, when I first saw the first woman, like, the one that was a feather duster or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, she's cute. And then I saw Which another, I saw another, like, black girl, and I was like, okay. And then, like, Mrs., the dresser, the dresser was, yeah. like, she was black. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is so amazing. Meanwhile, I'm here and thinking, like, I don't know if this is accurate to medieval friends. I'm pretty sure I saw, like, an Asian guy in there, too. I think so, too. It's like, it's like okay, Disney? I like it. I know that that that's good. It's like okay, it's a it's a fairy tale. I'll say it as that. It's a fairy tale. It doesn't have to be historically it's a fairy accurate. Fairy tale. It's a fairy like, tale. A tale as old as time. 
I mean, if we're going to say that, I mean, why is the whole movie not in French then? <laughs> because there already is a remake of the original French version that you can get at Best Buy today. But let's just say that, um, okay, I'm going in all types of directions now. Okay. But anyway. Spread out. No, I was going to say, like, you know, we're really talking about being accurate in everything. A lot of these actors are American, not French. We really want to go that route. Well, unlike some other <laughs> recent movies <laughs> that came out that people were complaining about, the... Who? Who? You know. Who? <laughs> the new Dunn. <laughs> people, can you really discern them from American people? <laughs> Let's all be honest here. I are you logic against me? <laughs> well, you're the one with the previous video saying, I couldn't enjoy this film because of logic. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I like that Disney is trying to bring that more diversity into the films and stuff. I mean, it's yes, it was live action. Yes, none of them were like main main characters, but they're still they're still there. Don't like, mess up Mulan. I swear to you, do not mess up Mulan Disney. Oh my gosh. Or I will make a man out of you. Or just don't do Mulan, period. Oh, they're doing it. Hold on. It's already planned. Are they're you doing serious? it. Yep. Who's gonna be Mulan? We don't know yet. In a song. Or whatever her name is. That girl from the Disney Channel. Me. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to let it go off. Okay, there we go. There you go. Edit that out. Okay. Let it go. <laughs> let it stay. <laughs> let it go. Alright, anyways. Back to serious. So, yeah, that's what I liked about um, this film. I liked seeing some characters there. I enjoyed the film, but I watched it. <sighs> Excuse me. I watched, watched it with you. I enjoyed the uh, audience that we watched it with. Did, did I, I, it was okay. There were a lot of kids. We had some, some there was a girl behind us, this little girl. And she was sick, like mad sick, like she needed to be in bed, not in the movie theater on $5 movie nights, but okay. And she was just coughing, like, <laughs> no hand over the mouth or anything, and it, I was like getting mad, like I needed vitamin C after that. I hate it because people always, this is a rant, people always try and like go out and do things when they're sick and they need to be at home, because then they get everybody else sick, like that's just my logic, I don't mm. like it at all. Yeah. I don't like it, but it, it was annoying, and it was a $5 movie night. Like, if you can, try not to go see this movie when there's a whole bunch of people. You probably will enjoy it a little bit more, but I still liked it. It was fine. It was nice, and everybody clapped at the end, so well, that Of course was good. it did, because there's so many people there. Still. <laughs> I give this movie a flat note out of five. How many steps is that? <laughs> It's whatever you make it sound like. This note just fell flat for me. Okay, okay. I'll give it a drum roll. A out of five. A three point five out of five. This is what you said for the other one. It's uh, one of my favorite numbers. Three point five out of five. Yeah. Three point five out of five. Yeah, I like. Very precise. I mean, just because it would have been a five if this bell was just dropped in gorgeous. Or if she knew how to sing. That too. If the songs made me want to, like, sing along. Yeah. Like, it was just kind of like... I'm like just watching, any like, good musical <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah. Any good musical will do that. But, I don't know. I, I just feel like... It. Russell Crowe never sing again. A year from now, I'm not going to really remember this film. I don't really need it in my collection or anything. Nah, I don't need it either. I got the animated one. Yeah, I mean it was it was just it was just okay. It could have been a little bit more magical. Um, True. But whatever, it it was okay. 
I liked it. I would recommend you go see it. Oh. Wait for it to come on Netflix. Dang, not even DVD, but Netflix? Yep. Well, we got to uh, wrap it up here. We're almost out of memory space. So oh. this has been The Manga Man. And me, Kitty. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Can I, like, hello, fix myself? It's hello. Been a, it's been a while. It's been five minutes. Is that recording of our last video? No, it won't record. It'll record a new video. Just making sure, because... Sure. What happened to my bang? They were super cute, and then I messed it up. They were still cute. Okay. Ah. I'm keeping that in. No! <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm the Manga Man. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Manga Man here. Are we recording the intro already? Hi everyone, Manga Man here. Okay, count. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm keeping this all in. One, two, three.